Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel Shopping in Scents for something that I haven't done in a very long time and that is a candle review. So I don't know where I put the top to this candle and if I wait until I find it I'll never do this review. <laughs> so I'm here with a review of Bath & Body Works Blueberry Maple Pancakes. So it doesn't look like I've burned much of this candle, but I have. I've burned it over four times. Um, so I think I can give you some sense of how the candle is doing. Of course, if there are any changes, I will put an update in the description box. So we have here our standard three wick candle. So this is 14.5 ounces and it is supposed to burn for 25 to 45 hours. I noticed something on this candle which has not was not on previous candles. I don't know when they started putting this on the labels, but it says do not burn candle for more than four hour intervals. And I did notice that something about this candle is that it burns very hot. So um, after four hours, the flames do go pretty high. Even if you trim the wicks after each burn, which I recommend that you do using a, a wick trimmer, which you can purchase online from Amazon or from, uh, from Yankee Candle, but um, get it from Amazon. Anyway, so trim your wicks, but uh, the, the candle does burn hot. So what does it smell like? Uh, let me read you the scent notes. So the scent notes are wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup with natural essential oils. Now on cold, it didn't smell like that to me at all. It smells like, um, kind of like blueberry pie filling and perfume. It has this odd perfumey scent to it. I don't smell any maple and I don't smell any kind of a bread note from a pancake. Now, uh, when it burns, I will say that uh, the scent throw is about, on a scale of one to 10, it's about a five. So I could smell it in my, I have a very small apartment, so it scented my living room quite thoroughly. I did smell it wafting into my open concept area of my kitchen and into the bedroom slightly. Um, so I would place it around a five. Um, the candle when first, uh, when it's first burned, uh, during the first hour or so, or so it has a, a warm blueberry compote type scent. So if you don't know what that is, it's like if you've ever gone to IHOP or you've gone to like a crepe house or something that that compote, that blueberry pie filling that they put on top of pancakes and crepes and uh, and such and French toast and, and those type of things. It smells like that warm blueberry pie filling. But then as you get towards the second hour, the third hour, and then finally towards the fourth hour where I feel like you have to put out the candle because it's starting to burn too hot. And I will put in a clip of what it looks like when it's burning. The flames, even with the wicks trimmed, are pretty high. It starts, you know it's time to put out the candle because it starts to get this burnt, a very burnt smell, like a burnt blueberry. Like you, if you burnt the inside of a blueberry pie. I keep saying the inside because I don't get that bread pancake note and I really don't get any kind of a maple note. It's really just blueberry pie filling um, and kind of a hint of an odd perfume scent. So I'm not nuts about this candle. I will say that I would buy. I would not buy it again. I would not recommend it to other people, um, unless you are a really, unless you're a blueberry fan. If you love blueberry, it does have a somewhat comforting, aut autumnal kind of feel to it. So yeah, you know, if you're on a cold on a brisk on a brisk autumn day if you're curled up on your sofa and you have this burning in the background while you're reading a book i think you would find it enjoyable 
you're not really heavily into blueberry uh, and if you're looking for something that's going to smell like pumpkin pecan waffles or something that's going to smell very sweet this is not the candle it doesn't smell sweet it doesn't smell mapley it doesn't smell like pancakes so yeah I would say it's a pretty mediocre mediocre candle I'm not going to return it I will enjoy it the burn is pretty clean there is some residue but it burns pretty clean there's no soot but like I said you have to put it out after that four hour mark or I don't know what it would do and it has that beautiful deep blue blueberry uh, wax Does it smell like a real blueberry? No, I mean, it doesn't smell like a fresh blueberry. Um, the description, it says wild blueberries. No, it doesn't smell like wild blueberries because anybody who has eaten, anyone who has eaten a fresh blueberry, you know, or a blueberry from the supermarket, a raw blueberry, um, it, it's a tart tasting fruit with with no sweetness to it um blueberries taste sweet because people add sugar to them and put them in pastries and cakes and cookies and muffins and that kind of stuff but it's not a that's not the natural way a blueberry tastes uh i actually had um recently i uh, had a conversation with my boyfriend about that because i had bought fresh blueberries uh, I am a diabetic and um, some of the fruits that diabetics can eat are um, berries, uh, apples, pears, and berries are the recommended fruits for diabetics according to my doctor. So when my boyfriend saw me eating blueberries, he was like, aren't you, isn't that going to make your sugar go up? And I was like, have you ever tasted an actual blueberry? not a blueberry that's in a pop tart or a pie and he's like no so i gave him a blueberry and he's like oh it tastes awful it's bitter well not bitter but it is tart so to say this smells like fresh blueberries no so my thoughts on this candle it's okay it's not bad but it's not great either so i give it a i give it a five out of ten Okay, so stay tuned to my channel for more candle reviews. I'm going to insert the clip. Wait, before I close out, let me insert the clip of the candle burning so you can see how high the flames get. out this review remember to comment rate subscribe stay tuned to my channel for more candle and body care reviews um yeah and i'll see you next time goodbye everyone out there in youtube land